Can diabetics eat spaghetti? You can find out how many grams of carbohydrates are in a dish of spaghetti by reading the nutrition label. About 43 grams of carbs can be found in one cup of cooked spaghetti that has no sauce added. If that's more than the amount of carbs you're supposed to eat at a meal, you can cut your serving to one-third or two-thirds of a cup. Don't forget that the sauce will increase the carbohydrate content, a usual half a cup of tomato-based sauce would add close to 18 grams. Pasta not only contains carbohydrates but also gluten. Not everyone with diabetes would benefit from eliminating gluten from their diet, but some people find it necessary. That's because a lot of gluten-containing foods also tend to be quite high in carbohydrates, which can lead to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Celiac illness, which necessitates a gluten-free diet, may coexist in patients with type 1 diabetes. It's not necessary for people with diabetes to stop eating their favorite spaghetti dishes. In reality, it is essential to consume carbohydrates at every meal, such as spaghetti. But, you need to make sure you're sticking to the diet your doctor or nutritionist has prescribed. Eating too much spaghetti can cause a rapid increase in blood sugar because of its high carbohydrate content. If you want to maintain a healthy diet, you need eat the right amount of carbohydrate portions at each meal. The elimination of gluten from the diet has been shown to be beneficial for the management of type 1 and type 2 diabetes by reducing carbohydrate consumption. There are fortunately several of options for gluten-free pasta. Diet is an important component of a diabetes management plan. You don't have to give up spaghetti if it's your favorite, but doing so in a healthy way means enjoying the meal without worrying about symptoms arising afterward. Thank you.